Hi, this is John Hart, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about fasting and Serge Nubret. Uh, when I was a manager of the Gold's Gym down in Southern California back in the early 90s, uh, I used to see Serge come in. He was a member of the gym, and he'd come in with his girlfriend and uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the kind of workouts that he did at the time. Uh, Serge, very famous professional bodybuilder uh, from Arnold's era, from the golden era. And <clears throat> there was a particular way that Serge ate. And so I'd like to share a little bit of that with you. Uh, Serge used a form of fasting, okay? And the way he did it was... You know, he had very, very long workouts. And to me, I'd see him arrive at the gym, talk a little bit, uh, do very, very long workouts uh, along the lines of, man, several hours at a time, uh, maybe a couple of hours. He would train a body part and then rest a little bit. He'd eat a little orange, a little piece of fruit, uh, and then get back to it again a little while later and maybe do another smaller body part. So, for example, he would train chest for an hour and a half or two hours and then take, you know, a little bit of a break, socialize a little bit and then get back to it. And maybe train his calves for another hour after that or longer. And maybe he would do several body parts in a day. Sometimes I didn't notice, you know, maybe he did, you know, uh, three body parts in a day or four, an hour or two each. But for the most part, I would see him there for a large part of the day. And when I talked to him about his eating, because I had noticed that all I ever saw him eat was a little piece of fruit uh, here or there. And he told me himself that he would pretty much fast you know, for most of the day. And then in the evening, in the middle of the night, this man would be up eating. And he had specific hours that he would eat between. And during that time, uh, it sounded like he was eating whew, everything but the kitchen sink. So uh, Serge, you know, known for being a, a little bit different uh, number one, I mean, he wasn't a natural bodybuilder. We, we all know that. We all acknowledge that, okay? And I'm not judging that. I'm just saying that when we talk about does fasting work, does it not work, intermittent fasting, or any form of fasting, well, for the most part, we see that in the bodybuilding world, the majority does not believe in that. In the natural bodybuilding world, again, the majority, the large majority, does not believe in that either. They do believe in eating multiple meals, uh, smaller meals, but multiple meals throughout the day, and uh, from morning until night. And uh, Serge, again, being a little bit different, uh, he would eat just basically one huge meal in the middle of the night, and, you know, a couple of small pieces of fruit during the day. But otherwise, he was fasting. You know, he was. And boy, he was ripped. He was lean, really lean, all the time. And this man was, at that point in his career, he was older. He was no longer, you know, in his 20s or 30s. He had to be, you know, in his 50s, early 60s. Uh, and at that point, you know, he was still extremely lean with very youthful looking skin. And he had a lot of muscle on his body. Now I say that again, just having acknowledged that, well, he wasn't natural. So uh, the anabolics I'm sure helped to a degree to retain and even gain some lean muscle mass while uh, you know, staying ultra lean. And in his case, it worked rather well. Uh, you know, if you see any pictures of him from that circa, that time frame, the early 90s, uh, mid 90s, he was pretty much a faster. He was fasting and eating just one big meal a day. So it did work for him. 
And obviously, uh, and he recommended it for his clients and for you know people that he worked with, his, his girlfriend, same thing. I never saw them eating any real food, any real meals, I should say, during the daytime hours. So did he do this all the time? I'm not so sure. But when he described his diet to me, this is straight from his mouth to my ears, uh, he described it being a form of fasting. And so for him it worked, and it worked rather well. Uh, but again, you know, I, I personally don't agree with it for the natural bodybuilder or the natural fitness enthusiast that's drug free, or for even in, in, in those who are using, again, it's uh, just not the majority. The consensus is not in agreement with that. The majority uh, still has multiple smaller meals per day. And we've seen over time that uh, this is not just a, you know, uh, a situation where, you know, we have just a few success stories. The majority of bodybuilders and general gym goers uh, have great success eating multiple smaller meals a day. I agree with it. And the, again, the mar large majority of them do also agree with it. Uh, and they, they don't do a lot of fasting, at least not on the regular basis. So there you have it. Serge Nubret uh, from the early to mid nineties, uh, right in the gym where I was at and managing. And I talked to him on multiple occasions about his eating and the types of foods that he ate. And sure enough, it did sound like he was eating just about everything but the kitchen sink uh, in the middle of the night specifically. And he wouldn't get a lot of sleep either. So he was very lean and he had a lot of muscle on his body. For Serge, it worked rather well. You're gonna have to check that out for yourselves. John Hart here again, from my heart to you. Thank you. Same thing. You can take a, let's say for bench press, just take a stick and think you have 100 kilo, whatever, and have the muscle, but you must be stronger and very strong. You know, when the yogi people, they go on the ice and they, they burn the ice. But if you are not used, you stay there forever. You have to use to say, I'm not cold, I'm not cold. I feel warm, I feel warm. And then if you come to 100 degrees, the ice. So that's the way. But you have to go slowly to do this kind of thing. And if you think bodybuilder is an art, even more than a sport, it will help you. It's why I train, I train always in 10.